Welcome, I'm Alex Tadashev. Let's take a look at the new Elephant Flow feature in release 7.2. So I'm starting out here on the FMC for release 7.2. I've got the firewall management center, just looking at the dashboard. So let's first take a look at where you configure Elephant Flow. That would be in the access control policy. Now I'll show you what the defaults are. Here's our access control policy. Pretty straightforward. Let's go over to the advanced settings. Over here we have the Elephant Flow settings here on the right. So let's take a quick look at those. Click the Edit Pencil, you have the dialog box here. Now at the top, there are some conditions on when Elephant Flows are applicable. Only works on Snort 3 devices from release 7.2 and up. So uh, for anything older than that, then you'd use Intelligent Application Bypasses, which has been around for a while. But this is different. Uh, it's pretty focused on large flows here. So it defaults to being enabled here, and you can see it's going to default to 1024 megabytes or a gigabyte of data in 10 seconds. So what we're saying here is the flow has to have by have 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 transacted or sent or received a, a gigabyte of total bytes of data and at least 10 seconds long. So not a gigabyte in 10 seconds, just has to be at least a gigabyte, has to be at least 10 seconds. So if that's exceeded, it's going to generate an, an elephant flow event. Uh, now keep in mind this is going to be a, a regular connection event with elephant flow in the reason call and I'll show you those here in a bit. You have to have the connection logging turned on for this to work. This isn't going to log an elephant flow event if you don't have connection logging turned on but that's for that specific you know traffic. That's the default of course you can change that. Let me just go over this other rest of this dialog real quickly. So you have elephant flow remediation. That's another option. So if you turn this on, then it's going to actually take an action uh, in some cases. So above, just, just recognizing the flow, it's got to be this size. So these all have to be true now. So you have to meet this criteria first. Then it's going to look at this criteria and say, okay, it's an elephant flow. Um, your CPU utilization on a particular snort core has to be 40% within a time window of 30 seconds. And you have to have 5% packet drops. So this snort core has to be in duress, what we're saying. And that's our, our kind of our definition of duress by default. And I'll, I'll modify that for my test. So if that happens, then we're going to bypass the flow for all applications. So it doesn't matter what the app is. If the snort core is in duress, we're going to bypass it. Okay, that's remediation. Now you can take another step and you can select specific uh, application filters. And if you do that, you can give this choice. So I'm going to pick something really simple. Um, let's just pick something like HTTP, right? Probably wouldn't do something as crazy, but there you go. HTTP, save it. I've got an application filter now. Now, once you do that, now you can say, what we're saying now is we're going to bypass the flow and allow it to go, allow it to go through for these specific applications if, if Snort Core is in duress. So you get for HTTP in this case, we're going to bypass it. So it's going to skip Snort once it's determined to be an elephant flow. But then that's it. So at this point, without turning this last section on, we're only going to allow the flows to be bypassed if they're HTTP. Everything else is just going to get, you know, it's just going to slow down Snort and that's it. It's going to drop packets and you got to live with that. Now if you want to do something with the rest of the flows, you flip this switch and you can say, all right, let's throttle the rest of the flows. So now what's going to happen is, again, if this threshold appears exceed, exceeded and this the rest threshold, and it's HTTP, then we're going to bypass it. If all this happens and it's not HTTP, then we're going to throttle it, which means we're going to slow down that flow with, uh, I think, by 10% windows at a time until we drop out of that duress condition up here. So as soon as whatever we do down here takes enough effect to drop us out of this uh, duress condition up here, then we'll stop doing that. So we're going to slow that flow down, any flows that are not HTTP down, to the point where it stops putting Snort into duress. So that is going to have potentially or obviously some, some application impact, right? If you have a backup, you decide to throttle it, it's going to go slower now. But uh, the, the benefit here is that Snort's going to be able to inspect that traffic. Okay, so that's kind of the lowdown of how this dialog works and, and, and uh, the logic behind it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of these parameters so I can actually generate an elephant flow with a test. First, I'm going to change the elephant flow size to just 10 megabytes and then I'll change the duration to 10 seconds we'll make this as low as we can which is 1% we'll make that also as low as we can 15 and that one so that's as low as you can make these things 
From there, we'll just save this and then we'll save the policy and then we'll deploy it. Alrighty, looks like we're completed with our deploy. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is let's go over to Unified Events. And what I'll do is let's, it's running live right now. So I'm looking at live events coming into my one device here. So let me go out to my test system here. I have a little script that's just going to download a big uh, file from the Ubuntu website. It's going to be at Ubuntu ISO. So just W get there and download starts. So it's going to take a while for that flow to finish, but we should see Elephant Flow event in mid flow. And since this is a live feed we're looking at of events, that event should just pop up. There it is. How about that? I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so there is the Elephant Flow event. So it's just a connection event, really. Yeah, it's a mid flow connection event now. And that's not real obvious from here, except we just happen to know it is. And, and the fact that it's an Elephant Flow, I guess, should give us a clue there. So right now, it's just, just a few packets in there, a few bytes. And I want to show what this looks like in the connection event view. So I'm going to go over to analysis connection events and open that in a new tab here. Uh, again, connection events, a lot of events usually going by here in this test system. I really don't have that many, but still don't see any elephant flow events there. So to find your elephant flow events, you do have a custom search that's built in under predefined searches called elephant flows. If you select that, that will show you the elephant flows. Remember, three types of events here we have. Elephant flow, elephant flow trusted, and elephant flow throttled. Something to be aware of. This built-in search will only show you elephant flow events. If you happen to have any throttled or trusted events here, it won't show these because it's looking for specifically the words elephant flow in the reason field. Now you can do, you can create a new search, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to edit this search. And it's pretty easy to, to change this to see all events. Just put a star after that. So that's going to see everything. It starts with the words elephant flow. And I'm going to actually save that as a new search. I'm going to call that all elephant flows. And this should show me everything now. And now I was only able to create one other event in my testing. It's quite hard for me anyway to push snort far enough where it's actually dropping packets. So I did have one. These are all elephant flows. If I go back a couple pages here, so you can see there is an elephant flow trusted event here that is a trust action. So that is elephant flows. And I hope that helps shed a little bit of light on how this feature works. As always, happy snorting.